Hey gang, Poppy here. This is my advice to new posters on YouTube. Nine. See that? Nine of them. <laughs> you know, I could do that in one more video. Then I gotta start taking off my shoes. No, you don't want that. <laughs> ah. Today, let's talk about editing. How important is editing, Poppy? I love having my canned audience ask the questions I want asked. <laughs> editing. There's mm, wide. Yeah. Yeah, there's a. That's about as, there's a wide field of styles for editing. Some people posting to YouTube, they rigidly control, uh, almost storyboard everything they shoot. Uh, you know, they're, they're, they're shaving milliseconds, you know, before they put stuff together. Then there are some people, they just turn the camera on and what happens is happening. There. Record or record not, there is no edit. That's a bad Yoda, wasn't it? Anyway, me, I barely edit. I shoot what's happening. Uh, if I'm not going to record it, I don't turn the camera on. It's as simple as that. You know? I don't make you look at me scratching my butt, searching around the shop for that one little thing. It was over there, or was it over there? Did I put it back here? I don't make you look at that. Hey? Okay. Now. You can, reasons for editing or not recording. Some people, they have limited space to store their video. So they've got to get those little parts and fit them in. You know, then there's people, they got lots of space. I mean, I can record about two hours in one shot. If things don't go wrong, I don't have a power outage, or I have to stop to beat someone for making noise during my video. <laughs> you know? But most of the time, I just yell at the offender and say, "Hey, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna edit you out." Editing. How do you edit? Well, you take your raw footage and you transfer it to your computer if it didn't record it on your computer. If you've got a separate camera and you got to move it to your computer, there you can process. That's chop out the pieces you want and put them together and add your title and your music and any text captions you want to throw in there a lot of people do that then you gotta slap on your end you know in my case it's good night from California or it's the half rotten pumpkin poppy's done for now anyway you move that to the computer where you're gonna process it probably post for it. Now, there are a lot of video editing softwares. I have Cyberlink, director and producer, on my standalone here. But I found out that 
hour recording out in the shop and come in and five hours and transfer it to this computer. Then there's another five hours of processing it after I've you know, decided what's going to be there. And then there's another five hours transferring it to the computer that I'm recording this on. Then, however long it takes for YouTube when you upload, right? I'm pretty sure you don't have the world's fastest internet. I don't think anyone's got terabyte. I think that is a come on. That's bigger vaporware than anything Elon Musk is trying to sell. Anyway, so me, I went looking for some video editing software and I ran across one moment here video pad by NCH software and I tried it it did exactly what I wanted it to do plus a couple other possibilities like it could post directly to YouTube for you I don't use that no, I use the YouTube app. <laughs> the YouTube provides me when I log in as a creator to do my posting. I mean, video pads, uh, post to YouTube, post to that place, post to that place, probably works. I don't know. So... I, I paid for it. It was like that, thirty bucks, forty dollars. It isn't important what video editor you use. It's that it works for you. It makes a finished video that you can puke up to the uh, YouTube servers, and it looks sort of like a video. Graphic maybe some sound the video the end uh, credits that is what's important it makes what you want to put on YouTube who it's from I don't care there are a lot of freeware video editors I've found a lot of freeware that's good and I found a lot of freeware. It's worth exactly what you pay for it. Yeah. You got to try them out. If you find one that works. And they'd like a little bit of money. Think about it. It does what you want it to do. Don't they deserve a few shekels out of your purse? Pocketbook? Wallet? Run down to the vault, grab a bag of gold coins, whatever. I mean, free is great, but when you find something that works, it might be worth a buck or two. That's the importance of editing. Of course, you have to do it right. Good night from California.